All right, all right, all right. Um, their time. I was supposed to meet up with uh, Firearms 101 tonight, but unfortunately, he had a, uh, a situation that he couldn't make it. So good luck to him. But in honor of Firearms 101, is a shirt he gave me. Master of the Sea. <laughs> so I got leftover burrito from uh, El Pastorcito. Uh, and uh, here's a video or a picture of what it looked like uh, in full size. So I only ate half of it, but man, this thing is, is filling. And uh, so the uh, libation to wash it down with is nobody's monkey i think i made them i might have made a video about it before i don't remember but anyway it's uh from the dancing gnome and uh, i got it the last couple of times i was here and my son and i went there and i got a i brought it home with me one pint alcohol by volume nine percent let's see too much glare, too much glare. So. <laughs> Free drink burp. Yeah, I think, I, I don't know what it is. Uh, what it is, what it is, what it is. Imperial Stout is what it is. Look at that. She be dark. Cheers. Very good. Very, um, it's got the car, 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 caramel. Very smooth, not bitter. It's got a coffee note to it. Mmm, that's a meal in itself right there. So yeah, El Pastorcito, and this is a, a burrito pastor. It's got the the um, the shaved pork from that vertical meat thing, kind of like a souffle or a gyro, a Greek gyro, but it's pork. <clears throat> And I got a little uh, sour cream. And uh, this is some uh, spicy sauce. Yep, she's a spicy one. And this is the gringo sauce. <laughs> Not very spicy sauce. Yeah, salsa verde. So we'll do a little bit of everything here. Better day. I don't know what they call this stuff. Caliente. Muy caliente. And a little sour cream. I have no idea what the Spanish version of sour cream is. <laughs> Cremo del sour o. <laughs> Cheers. So the body. Mmm. That is good. The meat's a little chewy, but it has good flavor. Not too salty. The, the sour cream gives it good texture. <clears throat> the heat is just right. Mm. Needs a little more heat, actually. A little Miller better day. So, anyway, yeah, it's been a long day uh, doing uh, more desk jockey stuff, but it pays the bills, right? Mmm.
Yeah, that goes good. It actually tastes sweeter. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. Nobody's Monkey goes good with the burrito. Yeah. You get more of the caramel, a little more of the sweetness, and none of the bitter. Hope you guys are enjoying these uh, <coughs> on the road mukbangs. Cause gives me an excuse to drink beer. <laughs> mm. And uh, share my experiences. And also it's a reminder to me things that I like or things that I don't like. I hope, Rob, you're uh, you're feeling better. It's unfortunate. Really looking forward to meeting up with uh, Farms 101, but hey, life happens, you know. Sometimes <clears throat> when you think something is a negative, it might end up in the long run being a positive. I was talking with a, a colleague today about how you know things happen and you know it's disappointing at the time but then when you look back later it's like wow I'm glad that happened otherwise this other thing would never happen so I don't look at negative things as negative anymore because they're negative at the moment but you never know what the outcome is for you or for somebody else down the road. Now, yeah, it is unfortunate if there was like, a, you know, physical uh, injury or death or something. But uh, even in some of those situations, you know, when something is tragic, um, there are times where good things happen when there is a tragedy. You know, we learn from them, we improve. Mm. So don't dwell on the negative. Drink beer instead. Mm. Yeah, this is definitely a good nightcap. That's pretty much all I got. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm going to go ahead and finish this. If you want to hang out? Appreciate it. Savor the flavor. I'll let you guys go. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this. Have a good one. Later.